All right, Patrick, you were you were honored at the Diamond Awards last night. The uh, the most positive uh, Twins coverage over forty years. <laughs> yeah, that's what. Uh, uh, that what <laughs> what's your uh, what's your temperature? You took did you take the temperature of the room in Twinsville last night? How are we feeling here going into the home stretch before? Spring training. A lot of optimism, wouldn't you say, uh, Judd and Declan, before oh, yeah. the uh, before <laughs> uh, before the end of the uh, before the last uh, guy got up there. I would say there was a there was a whole lot of optimism, uh, uh, you know, and uh, I was very concerned that uh, that I, I didn't know what the I thought they just wanted me to talk for a few minutes, and then when all the inner sit down interviews with the with the puff questions were being asked, I thought, I don't have to do that. Do I? <laughs> you know, it, would have, it would not have gone well. So anyway, so tell, yeah, tell I, us, Patrick, are the twins going to win the world series yes, or yeah. come up just short of the world series this year? Dick, uh, Dick was very proud to uh, even, even be associated with this team. So that was good, but it was, you know, it was, it was, man, it was nice. It's a nice, the trophies had the, the things heavy. It's kind of heavy, so it's uh, most of, you know, I got the I got the little one from the MIAC. It's about like this, the Augie, and uh, I think there's a couple of tied for first Minnesota sports writer little cheap plaques, and that's it. So hey, this one's heavy. I could put it someplace. It, it can be at the, be, the be forefront of your mantle. Yeah, paperweight. Yeah, the the trophy wall, which is, you know, right right over here, about uh, four feet. So uh, anyway, you know, no, it was it was good. It, uh, it, you know, the, they had the two guys with ALS up there, and it kind of reminds you of what they're trying to raise money for, and it, uh, it gets you because, you know, you, you think it's impossible that they're going to figure something out, but then you go back to MS 25 years ago. You know, my sister had it, and she had a horrible life and died young, but they now treat it, you know, and people, yeah. you know, our colleague at the Star Tribune has made it public. Mike Rand, he's, living a living a full life and they they've learned how to you know not in all cases have they handled ms but uh they've uh, you know they they they're certainly uh you, you got a lot better chance and uh maybe someday als but it's horrible man it's a bad deal so uh that was that was good i guess so as far as the, the, what they're raising money for yeah but, uh, uh, it, it certainly was uh, an easier event to attend when it was at Target Field, <laughs> trying to park over there by the Depot Hotel. Fifteen bucks. It, Fifteen oh, bucks. Oh, did they get park. you for fifty? I had yeah. a freebie, but I didn't find my way into the freebie. So uh, it was, you know, the the address of the place doesn't have anything to do with the parking lot. The parking lot is stuck around the back, and uh, I I don't know. It's. Uh, it's, it, it seemed kind of overly complicated. It's a long walk. There. You need like a golf cart to get from your car to the actual uh, <laughs> ballroom yeah. area. Yeah, but, uh, you know, I, the, there were at times I was wondering how long we were going to be there, but it was an hour and a half, maybe hour and a half. That it wasn't bad. I thought it was good going to go till midnight at one point when mm-hmm. they started talking so how many uh, did, did carlos well, correa show up to accept his, yes, his five he, diamond awards? he was he was gracious as hell but they only give it gave him one of the awards they didn't march him up there five times he just <laughs> i think they presented him with the mvp right and then the others are yes. just being handed it to him uh, uh later and have to carry him out of but he's you know he seems content i don't you know, his agent might be rattled, but I think he's perfectly content to come here, make two hundred million dollars, and be a hero whether they win or lose, right? So he's, he's, you know, he's he seems like a nice enough guy. You know, he's uh, you'd, you'd like to see him run harder to first base every once in a while, but when he knows he's out, he's not going to waste energy, right? Yeah. So I think know, he's it, got the star thing down down pat. Like like I think he knows exactly what he what's expected and he's good. He delivers. He seems nice enough, at, you know, affable, talks about how he leads. Like I think he's got this down. Yeah. I let out most of the stuff I was most of the lines that I had thought of I I delivered, but I ate up I ate one of them. Well, well you can deliver was, it here. This is a safe I, oh, space. Oh yeah, I was going to tell Carlos Carlos, you know all this leadership stuff they're telling you, leadership? 
Leadership is a two-run double, Carlos. That's a leadership. <laughs> you know, I was going to use situation. my old. I was going to use my old. It's a two. I don't care whether you're getting along with the guys. I want you to runners first and third hit the gap, two-run score. That's leadership, baby. <laughs> uh, but I didn't. Do that. I counted three. I got class. I didn't do that. <laughs> I counted three gasps from the crowd. Of did he just really say that? Mm-hmm. So I did Rocco, about did, three did, of those. did Rocco react? Uh, did you make eye contact? I looked down with at him and he smiled sheepishly. But uh, you know, it was. <laughs> but he's. You know, I don't think he's a humorless guy. I think he's a pretty funny guy. You know, the joke. The joke could have been uh, that we needed Rocco to uh, to pull Dan Barrero after the first five innings. There. <laughs> no, I didn't want to take a shot at Dan. Dan's been very good to me. He wrote the foreword on the book, which was way better than the book. <laughs> you, know, the, you told Chip part. you didn't want to write the book. That was my favorite part. Chip yeah. wrote my book, but I didn't really want to do it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I said that I wrote Sids, and then. And he wanted me to do in this, you know, chip. Yeah, I've been very honest about the book. You know, it's, it's fun. If somebody wants to buy it, fine. I don't really care. You know, so it's 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 not. It's not you know, it's big... funny. Actually, I uh, I got a text message from uh, a good high school friend of mine. I got to find this for you. He, uh, my friend uh, Brandon Benzer, high school baseball teammate, college roommate, and he sends me a screenshot here or a picture of your book for the YouTube audience. Yes. Here's the book, yeah. okay? And uh, one of his buddies went and got it signed and said uh, to Brandon, so long, bleep kicker Patrick. Uh, apparently, <laughs> apparently you blocked him on Twitter like 10 years ago for something. He wanted and... me to do I think I remember the guy wanted, the guy who bought it for, I think somebody bought it for Brandon. Sam, yeah, Sam. <laughs> yeah, what? Well, and uh, they he said, put that in there, so... <laughs> So I know, did I, I wouldn't have said that on Twitter though, or what have I? I think you probably, I think you told people so long when you were blocking them on Twitter. Yeah, yeah, but I I didn't. I don't don't know if you called him a bleep kicker or not. (laughs) No, I don't think so. But I remember the guy asking, asking me to sign that for him. I just sign what they want. I don't. Do you ever unblock people? I've probably had, I don't know, over the last 10 years, there's probably been a hundred people reach out to me asking if I could ask you to unblock them. Do you ever unblock people? Oh, yeah, once in a while I'll see somebody and I'll actually see a decent, uh, you know, some tweet from them and say, oh, why did I block this guy? So They're not you know, so bad. Yeah. You know. yeah, I do, but I don't. Not if you violate the main tenets, you know. Not if you made a trees joke or any stuff like that. Uh, you know, the 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 repetitive jokes or the Joe Maurer bilateral Bilateral leg weakness, that'll get you blocked every time. Permanently, forever. Yeah. <laughs> you do th- I just blocked a guy the other day for using it. Goodbye, you're gone. Goodbye. <laughs> but, you're like uh, Joe West of Twitter. You're just yeah. tossing people <laughs> left and right. Not that many, not that many. I bet I haven't blocked more than 200 people in all the years. You know, I've been on since 09. I've been on since 09. I you saw. can check. I think you can check how many people you have blocked now. You can just like go into settings and... Uh, mm-hmm. And then you remember, like, oh, I do remember that guy trolling me 12 years ago. Yeah, I wonder what he's up to these days. <laughs> yes. Anyway, it was a, it was a fine, and I appreciate it, and everything's good. And uh, and the the grandkids were uh, were able to uh, you know get their autographs and get some pictures taken, and uh, and well, we got to sit at the table with Rod Carew. That was good. Yeah. Uh, Rodney's looking good, looking better than he did uh, a couple of years yeah. ago. That that new heart's well working good. He's. Uh, I didn't know about telling that joke about me telling Rodney he should have took take taken better care of himself all these years since we're the same age and you know he had the heart problems and I didn't. But <laughs> what the hell, you know. <laughs> you gotta shoot you know. your shot with those. Yeah. 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 That's that was good. It, it did, did get a gasp. It, it definitely got got the mm. that one got the gas. <laughs> I think that one. I, I you got like three of them. I think when I think the the shot the at Rocco, Rocco, the Rocco definitely got shot the gas. Got a gas, but yeah, they got a gas. They were not yeah. expecting that. This, well, this was a I, Bally's production, Pat. This was yes, a Bally's well, that's, production. That's the problem. That's the problem. And many people from the Twins came up and said, "Hey, thank you, congratulations," but nobody said that was great. <laughs> I don't think everything being uh, everything being equal. I'm not sure they wanted the laughs as much as they wanted this. Well, what did they? Okay, what did they expect? <laughs> we're going to welcome Patrick Royce 
And we're going to yeah. give him an award recognizing his career, which we know that he is hilarious and takes shots shots at the twins. Like, what do they expect? Hey, by the way, don't you? Uh, I think we've all discovered on Twitter and just general being on the air and stuff that uh, satire, you know, that you got to you got to count and hit him over the head with something, right? Because the example was my attempt at the Louis Arise joke, which nobody got. I said, you know, the nice, the good thing. After Barrero said, this guy's a, you know, hatchet man, basically. And uh, I said, to refute that, I said, hey, who else uh, would come up here and point out that every time there's a left-handed batting champion from the Twins, he ends up winning more than one batting title. And congratulations to the new administration on winning their first batting title with a left-handed hitter. And it was, you were supposed to go, they traded him. I didn't say they traded him, but uh, nobody got it. it no, it's uh, too subtle. Too subtle. It, way it, too it was, subtle. it was too way too nuanced. subtle. It was way too subtle. That's fantastic. Yeah, we, we definitely need a sarcasm or satire font on Twitter too. I think that if Elon mm-hmm. Musk could get working on that, it would be. Hey, be so the NFL this weekend, there have been a lot of clunker games this year. I mean, a lot of close games, but a lot of very unimpressive teams. But wow, the semifinals are what? Both one, one or two points. These are I the think, yeah. I these are the four teams, one, right? right? Each are one, and uh, Eagles can't be. Who's who's favored in that game? That's, Let's check that's, it out here. That's one or two, too. I mean, it's pretty amazing how uh, how they ended up. Favored. They ended up with the four best teams, right? It you looks like I mean? it's uh, Eagles are two and a half right now. Are yeah. they really? Two and a half, Ooh. yeah. Home field. And the Chiefs are one, one and home, a half. Home field and the quarterback, right? I, I mean, yeah. the Chiefs would, be, mm-hmm. Chiefs would probably be four if uh, Mahomes didn't have the bad ankle, right? Probably Although four. I think that I think at one point – I think the number swung after people saw that he just like walked off the podium with no limp and he's at practice. He's, he's a full participant. He, he's probably gritting his teeth trying to show how mm-hmm. great yeah. his ankle feels. But Favre wore a boot. Uh, what? So in in oh, oh nine when Favre got hurt around the playoff time, he wore a mm-hmm. boot because he was Favre and wanted to show you the excruciating pain he was about mm-hmm. to play through. So he just put a boot on. Look good. That before the New Orleans was he. Hobble, yeah. that's right. He was slightly hobbled before the game when, when uh, the Saints then uh, kind of <laughs> it is. How many of those hits would have been 15 yards today? Oh. Four of yeah. them at least, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, four, yeah, since they got completely paranoid, if you're in the general direction now, they called the one, uh, the absurd one last week when, uh, uh, you know, guy. Against the Giants, they call that a serve one. That's uh, against the uh, when they against Cousins. That that would have been about hit number eleven that the Saints took at Favre, right? And I don't think they ever got a fifteen yarder, did they? They didn't get one in that game. I, I don't, don't think they did. No. You know that game changed a lot of things. It changed the uh, what you do in overtime, which has now changed again. And uh, in 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 the playoffs, and uh, it also changed how much he can hit the quarterback. Don't you think? Yes, we're actually we're losing Pat there, Dak. Let's throw him in the. Yep, I throw I him got in it. the green. Yep. Okay. Okay. I thought my work. I, 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 I thought I, it worked. I, 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 I thought I, I, my work was done with Pat, but I'll just head back over to the estate. Yeah, our head of <laughs> IT, <laughs> head of tech, Judd Zolgad, the fifty-three-year-old Maven when it comes to computers. Uh, he, he's going to jump out and jump in. We'll see if if he comes back because I have a couple other questions for him. But uh, it is kind of. Oh my God! There's so many great one-liners here, but it is kind of funny that you would invite Patrick Royce. Up to hey, you're gonna you're gonna speak on Valley Sports North, and people are like, "Oh my God, what's he saying? What's he saying? Have it you read temporary. his work for forty years? It was so. <laughs> what great, do you think's though? gonna happen? Because oh. it took no this one totally, say- it took this totally boring thing, and and at least gave it the edge of a roast. Like it wasn't a roast, but it felt yeah. like a Twins roast. He basically got up there and roasted the Twins, and it was fantastic. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I, I, I feel like they should they should incorporate a roast into the Diamond Awards. Wouldn't that be kind of fun? We can celebrate like the Twins organizational awards. We can yep. raise some money yes, for a good cause, would. and we can have uh, a roast of Ron Gardenhire 
or a roast of uh, whoever, whoever you want to roast. Joe How Mauer. Falvey? How about Falvey? That might be a little too too close to home. Uh, well, yeah. We'll it's an anti Bally's production. A roast Pre- of Terry Ryan. <laughs> presented by Devil Sports, the new Minnesota. We just rip teams and roast them. Not even bankruptcy can prevent us from producing yeah. content. That's a whole that was, other that's, story. That's a low ball shot. Yeah, that's another problem. That's actually, I mean, like, that's that is a, a huge problem. The, uh, so the, the a story came out this week. The uh, So Sinclair owns, is so Sinclair is the parent owner, but then there's like a subsidiary Diamond of Sinclair. Sports. Yeah, that. So they might have to basically cut Diamond Sports off, like cut their arm off because they're going to enter bankruptcy and need to fold up some assets. So who knows what's going to happen with these regional sports networks going forward. And I believe the Twins have one year left on on their RSN contract. Because, I mean, that's where, Phil, we've talked about this for 10 years. This is where teams now in baseball make their money. It's a big chunk of revenue. It can be. I mean, it can be like... A, a huge percentage of your, I, I don't right. know that it, for the twins, I I still think like attendance, merchandise are a huge, huge chunk for them, but it's basically ticket sales, mm-hmm. merchandise, and your cable deal. Yeah. Are the, yeah. aren't, am I missing? Those are like the three big, and like, I guess big sponsorships, you know, Target Field, and some of the big like five or six corporate sponsors, but whoo. Yeah, Dane, even uh, Dane Moore tweeted out yesterday that the NBA, I mean, the cap is set by taking 45% of the basketball-related income, and that includes regional TV rights. So, I mean, th- there is tentacles to this that are going to become incredibly complicated and really interesting to see basically play out. Yeah, and the thing is, like, the NFL and the NBA are at least largely insulated by the big national TV deals. Those are, I think, I think those TV, the NFL is, like, up yeah. here and then the NBA Major League Baseball, relatively speaking, doesn't have a – most of the revenue that comes in is local revenue, not national yeah. TV revenue. So it, it's going to hurt baseball if, if there's an issue with those. Yeah. B- baseball and hockey are going to be impacted huge. Yeah. Well, I don't think we're going to get Pat back here. I think his internet just uh, folded what up happened? on him. The, the twins came in and said that's enough uh, It was enough working so and well. <laughs> All right. Uh, that's wrapping with Roycey. Roycey Unchained podcast feed for everything – Patrick does with us here on Score North. We'll see you guys on Mackie and Judd.